everybody sing that shit. Robin Goodfellow's Royal Ascot Tips, All the Best Bets for Day 1. Rhododendron bloomed gloriously in the Lockinge Stakes, but she may find herself scythed down by Lord Glitters, Ascot, 2.30, in today's Queen Anne Stakes. Bookmakers have written off the chances of the selection, he 16 1, and they may be correct, as he has plenty to find on official ratings. However David O'Meara's Grey may not have reached his potential and looks a value bet. There is no jockey better than Jamie Spencer for employing a patient closing ride on Ascot's straight track and, although the Irish rider is not every punter's preferred choice, his stats at the Berkshire venue are exceptional. I would really fancy the chances of Lord Glitter's granted easier ground, but the Ascot executive looked to have watered extensively and he still looks a very fair each way wager. 2.30 Jamie Spencer continues to divide opinion with his exploits in the saddle, but his statistics on Ascot's straight course are phenomenal in big fields and he may instigate a big shock in a fascinating curtain raiser courtesy of Lord Glitters. Only Frankie Dettori and Ryan Moore among those riders still active have ridden more winners at the Royal Meeting than the Mercurial Irishman and a pound on all of his rides since 2006 in races on the straight track in big fields. 16 runners plus, have produced a staggering level stakes profit of £108. He partnered Conti Partiro, 21, and bless him, 25-1, to big price wins under today's circumstances 12 months ago and Lord Glitters appears an intriguing contender even if a career best is required. Ideally, the selection would prefer slightly easier ground but the course executive is sure to have watered extensively and the going stick for day one suggests the ground may not be as quick as feared. The five-year-old displayed an extraordinary turn of foot to win the highly competitive Balmoral handicap over course and distance last October and, although he has plenty to find on the book, we may not have seen the best of the Lincoln handicap runner-up just yet. Selection, Lord Glitter's Danger, Ben Battle 3.05 as a sire. Scat Daddy was proving to be a formidable force at the royal meeting prior to his premature death from a suspected heart attack three years ago and likely favoured Sergei Prokofiev hails from the last collection of juveniles fashioned by the 2007 Florida Derby winner. Scat Daddy's abilities at stud have yielded remarkable results at this fixture with 15 runners producing eight winners with the likes of Lady Aurelia, Caravaggio. Acapulco and Sioux Nation advertising his talents in some of Ascot's showcase events. In Sergei Prokofiev, he has the opportunity to make his mark again and last month's Nas winner appears to be coming to the boil nicely as he bids to follow in the hoof prince of close relation Caravaggio, successful in this contest two years ago. However, Calix stunned clock watchers with an electrifying display on debut at Newmarket and it seems significant trainer John Gosden is happy to let his coal take his chance in this group to just 10 days on. As a son of first season sire Kingman, himself a Sussex Stakes and St James's Palace Stakes winner, Calix was expected to possess a change of gear, but his exhilarating display of power from the three furlong marker suggested he could be a true superstar in waiting. Selection. Calix Danger, Sergei Prokofiev 3.40 This fascinating renewal appears sure to be run at a scorching gallop with Cocky likely to set an unrelenting early pace. Those circumstances should again play to the strengths of the classy Lady Aurelia who bids to extend her unbeaten course record to 3. Her two previous trips to Berkshire have yielded victories by 7 and 3 lengths respectively huge margins given the standard and fierce competition of both this race 12 months ago and the Queen Mary the previous year. Trainer Wesley Ward has proved himself highly accomplished at bringing his fillies to a peak for this meeting and his daughter of the renowned Scat Daddy could well take all the beating once more. Badash is a top-level sprinter in his own right and performed a near miracle to overcome a sluggish start and win the Temple Stakes at Haydock last time. However, a repeat of those antics would leave him a mountain to climb given the proficient manner Lady Aurelia normally exits the gates. Two outsiders capable of picking up their pieces late on could be Washington DC and Mobs Cross, runner-up and fourth to bat Ash at Haydock. 
both could benefit from a pace collapse late on and are likely to find the stiffer track to their liking. Selection, Lady Aurelia Danger, Washington DC 4.20 This race historically provides an intriguing juxtaposition between the English, Irish and French Guineas contenders, while the presence of unbeaten Frank Colt without parole, a three-time winner at odds-on, provides further glamour. The English Guineas has taken a couple of handsome boosts with third home Mazar landing the Derby the most high-profile enhancement of the form. Although sent off a 51 shot, there was no fluke about the performance of runner-up Tip 2 win who ran a blinder to finish with an hailing distance of Saxon Warrior. He should not be underestimated today, but the time of the Irish Guineas also suggested the Cahra Classic was a strong renewal so narrow preferences for winner Romanize this afternoon. U.S. Navy flag was largely responsible for the race being awarded an excellent speed figure that day and he could arguably find Ascot an easier track on which to dominate. However, Romanized powered through the line to spring a 25-1 surprise three weeks ago and it is worth recalling he was only beaten two lengths by Mazar at Sandown last summer. Connections felt the selection was only just coming right last time so he may well have improved again since and is fancied to build on that display. Selection, Romanized Danger, U.S. Navy Flag 5.00 Having won this race three times in the past six renewals, it seems as though Willie Mullins is leaving no stone unturned to try and record another success this afternoon. The all-conquering Irish handler saddles five very live chances in a race he has dominated in recent times with Chelker arguably the most interesting on his first start in nearly 20 months. It is anybody's guess what level the son of Azimer will run to on his comeback, but the fact he has entered in the Duke of Edinburgh stakes, one, 